All right, everybody, welcome back to year three of updating you guys on the I-395 Signature Bridge project. We're gonna focus on what has changed over the past year. We started this video series in 2022. I'm gonna throw some aerials from that time frame just to show you guys how little was here. We saw foundations for some of the arches. There are gonna be six total arches, by the way, sweeping over I-395. In 2023, we saw more progress on the arches. None of them had been connected at that point. That has changed since then. We have at least one arch that has fully been completed. And that is what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna fly over I-395, show you guys what has changed, what will continue to change over the next year, and then head on over to the 836 Dolphin Expressway, where they're building a second level to bypass some of the exits. And in theory, it's supposed to create a uh, faster travel time for drivers. So with that said, let's get in the air. All right, we're currently airborne overlooking the back end, as I like to call it, of the arches. We got arch number four, five, and six. So arch number four, if we pan down here, is just barely out of the ground. So they're targeting late October for the upper cast in place from the starter arch segment. And if you hear noise in the background, that's literally the project going on right now. So they're still working on that. They're going to mold it, basically put concrete in by October. So that's arch number four. Arch number five, which is the most interesting one in my opinion, because it will be the tallest and the longest arch out of all six of them, will be 325 feet above ground level and 650 feet long spanning across all of this. You've got arch number six, which will go on the other side. It is still not taking shape, really. They're still working on the coffer dam. They had to uh, create this bypass right here. So if you see that black roadway where these cars are going east and west, that is a bypass that has since opened from the last time we spoke in, uh, I believe, September of last year. They have since opened it over the past year in order to demolish the old I-395, which used to be right there where that dirt is, in order to create arch number six, which that's where it will go. They're currently working on the groundwork for that. Arch number five, as you can see, is well out of the ground. Arch number five, by the way, has 17 segments put in place out of a total of 86. Again, this is gonna be the tallest arch, the longest arch with the most segments. Okay, moving along this way, we've got this center pier. By the way, those are arch segments you see there. These are already precasted and ready to go. You see six of them towards the bottom. There's one towards the top by the roadway. And now we have arrived to the center pier. This is where all of the arches basically connect. You can see the, the arch coming out, right? It's not really an arch just yet, but you can see the base of it coming out of the center pier for arch number five. That's the one you see in the middle there. They're still working on the rest of them from the back end. That would be arch number four and six. Uh, but as you can see on the other side, it is a little different. You can see two of them already coming out from the sides. That would be arch number one and arch number three. Arch number one is that one that is uh, kind of curving halfway out of the ground over the road. It has a support tower holding it up. Arch number two, if you'll notice, very different from last year. It has connected completely. So arch number two completed a couple months ago, I would say June of 2024, if I remember correctly. You can see it still has the formwork at the top. By the way, the structure on the right side, that'll be the west side, has been removed. On the east side, you can see the structure that supports it is still there, but it is not touching the arch. So that means the arch is supporting itself as of right now. The middle piece you can see there looks a little different than the others. It's got more of a concrete color. That is because they had to pour concrete to secure that connecting arch at the top. The other ones were precasted off site. You can see them right over here. So they were already made and they just have to crane it up and attach. Another interesting thing that I wanna talk about before we get into the structure you see here, look at the base of arch number two. You can see it is smooth. They have smoothened it out and that is really what the arches are going to look like. You can see there's some discoloration on arch number one, got a little yellowing. You can see the individual segments from each arch right over there. And at the bottom of arch number two, you can see it is very smooth. We've got the I-395 deck that is currently being worked on. It was a little further back last time we spoke. They have since moved it this way. I don't think they will proceed uh, anytime soon because eventually it will go between the arches. So they will have to, I believe, in my opinion, complete the arches. Uh, and then you've got a lot of roadway ahead. So they've got to coordinate with closures uh, up to that point. You can see there's more bypasses that were constructed and uh, the rest of I-395 is missing. Last year, you saw I-395 all along the middle 
of the roadway that's the old i-395 it has since been demolished and is still currently being demolished a couple of bridge support structures are still remaining and they've been doing some closures in the nighttime to tear those down but you can see very different from last time we spoke wow they've since knocked down a lot of i-395 and you can see if you want to know what's permanent and what's not so those bypasses over there are temporary that way they can knock down the rest of i-395 so you got to obviously keep traffic flowing uh, but what's permanent if you follow this structure right here this is a permanent highway currently closed that's a bypass temporary bypass on the left side you see those cars going up on your screen they're going west and then you can see those two things coming out kind of spawning out of the the highway that is permanent structure so is the right side those are not completed just yet we've got that bypass in place while they still remove the old i-395 so eventually we'll see some connection uh, over there as we get into hopefully the next year we've got a new on-ramp that was opened over the past year from uh, Biscayne Boulevard to eastbound MacArthur Causeway see some of the cars getting on there that did not exist before it was a much more low-lying so it would flood a lot uh, I believe the new ramp is a little bit higher another change is the uh, westbound MacArthur Causeway as if you're coming from Miami Beach and you want to get off in Biscayne Boulevard in downtown Miami they move the exit towards the right and then they push back the entrance to that exit a quarter of a mile to the east. So you can see the old one, which is now basically dirt right over here and where these cars are parked. You can see they're still working on removing that old I-395 there to make way for arch number six. That is currently being worked on right there. And then you have arch number five being supported by these cables here. That is gonna be the tallest and longest arch. All right, we're getting a close-up look at one of the arch segments. Let me turn around this way so you can see it in its entirety. This is what you are seeing on the arches. Each one of those segments you see there is this. And if we get a close-up look at the center pier, you can see for arch number one, they've got two segments coming out. Arch number two is obviously completed. Arch number one you're seeing right there, halfway complete, almost completely over the roadway. And there you have it for arch number three. There are three segments, in fact, coming out of the center pier. So yeah, we're standing directly underneath that completed arch two. You can see it goes all the way across and connects to that center pier right over there. So that is the finishing point so far they're still working on it of the new I-395 deck that will go right between the arches, continue over this roadway, and connect with the MacArthur Causeway. By the way, the project is still expected to cost $840 million and is still targeting late 2027 for completion. So at least they're on track in that aspect. There have been some delays uh, in the near term for this project over the past year, but it looks like they're still targeting that late 2027 time frame since last year's update a new ramp opened on the north miami avenue street connecting to eastbound i-395 it first started off as two lanes with one merging from left to right then they realized that is causing too much of a tie-up and they added that second lane all the way until i-395 we're now at the i-95 836 and the i-395 interchange we're looking towards the south we've got the arches over in this direction. You can see a little bit of a better view of that demolished I-395 over there. Cars running on the left and the right side of that portion. Work is still being done here. Sections are still being removed. And if you see in the distance over there, that is going to be the new ramp. You can see already the columns along right over there in the middle of the screen. And that new ramp that looks unfinished, that is going to be the new westbound I-395 connecting to I-95 South. So you'll be essentially able to go from here as if you're leaving the beach or if you just got on in downtown and then go right over there. It would replace what we see at the center of the screen, that curve you see the cars going on. That is what it will replace. All right, we can see what's known as a straddle bent structure right at the center of your screen. It is that orange looking thing right there. That is going to support the double deck bridge from uh, the Dolphin Expressway. You can see more of those support structures ahead of it. And then behind it is where 
that double deck highway will be built so you'll have cars driving on a second level we're going to go over there in just a bit so i can show you the new ramp for that double deck highway we saw it in the last video but they have since created more decks uh, progressing the construction of that second level but you can see there a lot of support structures a lot of beams going in between these highways and then of course like i said that new ramp being constructed right now all right we are airborne showing you guys the double decked highway for the dolphin expressway so we're going to follow this double deck highway right now so you can see they've added some segments some uh highway decks these are large sections although they still have a very long way to go you can see a good deal has been created so far this is still part of the the on-ramp really it hasn't really leveled off so they're still working on that still got a little bit of an incline there you can see they've got this structure here holding the the columns in place for now we've got mostly just beams going all across you can see it spans all the way down there even over the miami river all right what did you guys think about that that is the i395 836 and a little bit of i95 project 840 million dollar construction cost late 2027 is when they expect to finish that is the current estimate today in 2024 let's see what happens by the time we make the update in 2025 so with that said let me know what you guys think about this entire project i showed you guys the arches the progress on the arches a little bit of ground view new bypasses that were created the demolition of i395 to get updates on future videos that i make on current developments here in miami and surrounding areas as well as year four update next year be sure to subscribe hit that bell button you'll be notified each time i upload a new video and of course leave a like help support this channel pushes this video out to other people who may be interested in the topic so with that said i'll catch you in the next video